fresh and totally foolproof key lime pie cheesecake bars. Oh my. So I just ground up a bunch of graham crackers and I'm gonna make a simple graham cracker crust, which all key lime pies have. So I'm just pouring in some butter, melted salted butter, and I'll stir the crumbs until they're totally coated in the butter. And the butter is for flavor, but it's also to kind of make the crumbs come together in a crust. All right, so I have a nine by 13 inch pan and I lined it with foil and sprayed the foil with nonstick spray. So I'll put the crumbs in and then the best way to get it into the pan is just to use your hands. And you kind of want to pack it down so that when you eventually slice the cheesecake bars, the crust will stay put and won't crumble all over the place. Okay, what I love about this recipe is that the crust and the filling are both made in the food processor, which just makes things a lot easier. So, of course, three big old blocks of cream cheese. <laughs> and then sour cream. Mm -mm -mm. It's a pretty classic mixture. Four eggs. And half a cup of lime juice. Key limes have a really specific scrumptious lime flavor, but I just can't find the juice very often. Almost forgot the sugar. We don't want to do that. <laughs> a cup and a half of sugar. Oh my gosh. Did I mention this is a dessert? And then I'm gonna let the food processor totally mix this up. That sounds done right there. This is going to derail my healthy eating plan. And then Poor as can. you guessed it, oh look, there was a nice little bonus chunk of cream cheese. <laughs> oh, I want that piece. That's gonna be my piece. Okay, so you do want to kind of smooth it so the cheesecake doesn't bake crookedly. So it's going to go into a 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. And you can see that I have a dish of water in the oven, which makes it sort of a moist environment. So I'm going to bake it for 45 minutes and then I'll turn the oven off, let it stay in there for 10 more minutes and then I'll crack the oven door and let it stay in for 10 more minutes. It's a process. Then I'll cool it and chill it, but magic of television. <laughs> I've already got a pan that's been chilling. Wow. Look how beautiful that bakes. Look at that. You can wow. just kind of peel the foil back and then you don't have to kind of navigate the pan when you're slicing it. All right, I'm gonna get these sliced into squares. Okay, now I'm gonna get them onto a pretty cake stand. I may not have enough room. I don't wanna stack these, of course. There's a gap, we can't have that. Got a few left over here, but here's what makes things really pretty. And you can do this in the pan if you wanna do like a heavier, a heavier coat, but you wanna come in here and watch this? I like to give it a nice little snowy covering of powdered sugar. And then, some lime zest. Just look how pretty it looks when it falls on there. Wow. It makes all the difference just to have that little hint of lime zest. All right. Glorious. Key lime pie cheesecake bars.